Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel and welcome here if you are new. Today I'm gonna to be spending some time here in the dining room, giving it a little refresh. The dining room is my favorite room in the house to decorate. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite room in your home is to decorate. I love decorating this space. It's my little escape room too. So if I ever need a little mommy time out, I like to come in here. I have a chair tucked here in the corner. So I'll come in here and sit and relax. Or I also like to come in here in the morning and have my coffee and look out the window too. So it's just my favorite little mommy space to decorate. Speaking of decorating, I've already gotten a head start on the top of my hut. Let me know if you're the same way, but I love to decorate at crazy hours, sometimes late at night or when the kids are at school or whenever I need a little mommy time. And then once I get a space looking just the way I like it, I don't want to touch it. So that is how it is with the top of the hut. So I will show you what I have done and I just love the way it looks. So if you are new here to my channel, again, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, grab yourself a coffee or tea, sit back, relax, and let's get started. Here's how the top of my hutch looks. The baskets at each end are from a local shop here in the Western New York area called Tattered Tula. And then the basket in the center is from Hobby Lobby. I love that basket. I've had it for a while. I don't always see it there at Hobby Lobby. It's not with the baskets, so it's hit and miss. And then I just added some white plates, a white pitcher, a little bit more greenery. The greenery is also from Tatter Tulip. And my newest find is this beautiful onion lantern. I got it at a local shop, but I have seen it on Amazon too, so I'll include a link in the description below. It is electric which I have a cord back here so I can plug it in and I just love that cozy glow. Next, I'm gonna hang some baskets on each side of the hutch. These baskets I got several years ago at Kirkland's and I filled them with these beautiful blueberry picks that I found at Joann's and I just love that pop of blue for spring and summer in here. Next, I'm gonna add this beautiful steeple lantern that I got at a local shop called the Old Steeple here in the Buffalo area. I love this lantern. I was actually gonna use it in our entryway, but I love it tucked right here. And to the chair I have tucked in the corner, I'm gonna add this pillow for a little texture and color. Next, I'm gonna be styling this table and I'm adding this farmer's market crate that I found several years at Home Goods. I'm adding to it this bird cage filled with some greens, these beautiful candlesticks that I got from Lemon Drops and Lilies. I'll include a link for those in the description below. And then this farmer's market little pot that I found at Dollar Tree. This is a recent DIY on my Instagram page, so go check it out. I love how this looks with that little pop of buffalo check. This is a new addition to the dining room. I added this table in front of the window along with this really beautiful lamp. This lamp I got last year, I actually had it in the basement and I love it because I love the little light at the bottom of it. And then I am just styling it with some stuff that I had on hand. It was kind of fun to shop my home and shop my basement and find these little treasures to add to just really cozy up this space. I also added this little stool that I found a few years ago at Michael's and on top of it, I added a lantern that I also found in my basement and I just love how cozy this makes the space feel. The vibe of the dining room, I really wanted to have a cozy country farmhouse look. So when we gather in the dining room, it's cozy and it just feels country and we're ready for a yummy home cooked meal. Next, I'm going to do a simple tablescape. First, I am going to light the bottom of my taper candles over the candle holder so a few drops of wax drops into the bottom of the candle holder and then I'm gonna place my taper candle on top and that will prevent it from tilting. 
I love this runner that I found at Home Goods a few months ago, so I'm gonna leave that there, and then I'm adding these charger plates that I recently found at Tatter Tulip. Next, I'm gonna add this beautiful plaid dinner plate from Biko Ceramics. I love this collection. You can find it on Amazon, and I will include a link for it in the description below. On top of the dinner plates, I am adding a napkin and a simple white plate. I often get questions over on Instagram if I keep my place settings out all of the time. In the dining room, I do. In the kitchen, I do have fun creating little tablescapes on the kitchen table, but it is a high traffic area. The kids are sitting there all of the time, and then the place settings are getting moved around. So I usually do remove them and just keep the centerpiece. Let me know in the comments below if you keep your place settings out all of the time or just do a centerpiece. Next, I'm adding this beautiful galvanized tray that my mother got from Magnolia that she recently gave me. On top of it, I'm adding this pitcher that was in my entryway along with these topiaries and some little hobnail pots. I'm also adding a little pop of blue with some of these berries that were on the picks that I added to the wall baskets along with some of my vintage spoons. I'm also adding these cutlery pouches that I found last year at Hobby Lobby on top of each play setting along with the pitcher. Now I'm going to be styling the top of this cabinet. I already had the buffet lamps there. I got them several years ago at Kirkland's and then I added this Buffalo check runner that is also from Kirkland's. To it I'm adding the dough bowl that was on my dining room table. I'm adding these holders along with some of these spheres on top for a little greenery and texture. Next I'm going to be adding some plate stands along with a white and plaid plate. And finally, I'm adding to the space a lantern, and on the other side, I'm adding a few little flickering candles. I really love how this space looks. I am still looking for something on the wall on each side of the picture. I did find something at the old steeple, but they only had one, so I may try to find another one or find something else just to really fill in that space. I really love how this dining room refresh came together. It's exactly how I envisioned. It is cozy and it just invites you in.
Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of today's video was. I hope you got some inspo for decorating your home and make sure you're following me over on Instagram at Mother Time for daily DIY and home decor inspo, as well as behind the scenes and stories. Thanks again for spending some time with me here today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.